hello students yes uh, so i'll be explaining on a fresh a uh, topic in this video that is a uh, financial uh, decisions or which is also called as a uh, financing uh, decisions see in my first class itself i told you when uh, explaining when uh, i was giving the introduction about the financial management there are four main uh, decisions that the firm has to take up whether it is you know uh, a smaller company or a bigger company right so bigger the company bigger the capital isn't it smaller the company smaller the capital wherever you go finance is you know the essential tool that which a firm requires here now we shall take up the financial decision what does financial uh, decision communicates about see it is something that uh, it speaks about the capital structure of the organization basically what should be the financing mix of the organization is it debt is to equity is it debt is to equity is to preference is it only equity and debt isn't it so the requirement you know of the funds uh, i mean to say the funds which is a required to an organization should be predetermined you will have to study the nature of your organization you have to determine what is the size of the company that is a dependent on the nature what kind of uh, industry or the enterprise you are into isn't it and it is not something that i am going to you know, as a financial manager or a planner i am going to you know, determine what is the you know amount of funds that i require as on today and i'm going to keep quiet it's not like that it is always continuous in nature you know the, the event is going to occur i mean to say say for example abc is a company which has a newly established right first year it was it, it you know it incurred you know lots of a cost because people were unaware about the company they were unaware about the products once this abc company it went well you know with the uh, sound marketing sound uh, advertising and going for buy one get one free offers and all that is it's a kind of way you know where you can attract your customers that's how you can uh, you know uh, draw their attention as well because you know that we are in the you know prevailing ours is like a prevailing indian market you have too many competitors who are entering a market every day isn't it so it's very important that you are going to determine the funds what you require not just for the short run right it should be for the long run say for example if abc is doing doing absolutely great financially sound it is after 2 years if it wants to you know go ahead with expanding its existing business diversifying its uh, business what is important of course the requirement of funds the availability of funds is a really very important that's the reason why we have it as it is continuous for you know a business a concern and all the type of a business you know uh, it requires the financing or the financial a decision see bigger the company bigger the capital there also you will have to be you know more financially controllable under smaller companies of course there also you want a finance smaller the company smaller the capital smaller the capital smaller the risk but still the element of a risk it is by default in whatever you know a uh, the nature of business you consider right and finance is said to be you know one of the most like you know important uh, elements that which is infused at a time of you know factors of production and you know the capital structure is uh, made up of a debt equity securities that which is going to you know you uh, know comprise a firms of financing of assets now what does a debt and equity security stock about here it is stating about the proportion of your capital structure how it is formed how your capital is a uh, formed basically what is the financing mix of your organization is it debt is to equity is it equity is to preferences to debt is it only equity plus preference that's how the things are going to work and when we use the concept a debt it talks about the leverage leverage tells that in your capital structure what is the amount of debt you have you know infused right and which is basically outsiders a fund right so the systematic analysis of you know uh, these instruments and it is going to mobilize you know uh, 
you know has you know as a considerable a uh, significance as well in the real life you know a uh, situation and an unplanned capital structure it might yield good results that is in short run right so planning is very important how you are going to deal with your financing decisions how are you going to you know raise your funds from different sources of course there are multiple sources available for you know the an investor you know to raise in the money but you will have the choice where you have to go again it all depends upon two factors one is the factor of risk and the one is the factor of return this matters a lot for you know the firm in order to raise its you know the particular uh, capital so to understand in depth what does a financing a decision a talk about see again this is uh, as i said this is one of the crucial decisions see i have told you financing is something where it speaks about how you are going to acquire the funds from different sources how you are able to raise the funds from different sources what is the risk associated with that what's the safety level what is the liquidity factor isn't it so this is one of the basic that is crucial decisions that a financial planner or a financial manager has to make in the organization say uh, he'll be responsible for you know uh, the failure or success of this particular you know plan what he make so always the plan or the decision decision is where uh, where the, where as a firm you are going to arrive at the conclusion you are going to take you know stick on to one particular idea that this is how the plan should work it out uh, for the organization a betterment isn't it so here what does it talk about see it is something like planning as i've been telling you planning is something that acts as a foundation right so that should be uh, you know strong enough over here so here the decision with respect to the financing it will be made by the financial manager again he is going to manage he is going to take the decisions on uh, you know how the financing mix of an organization should be is it like debt is to equity uh, equity is to preference debt is to equity is to preference he is going to make a decision on what should be the proportion of owned funds and borrowed a funds right so it is concerned with you know the borrowing of funds and after that allocation that is a proper utilization of the funds that which is required in order to fulfill the next main decision that is investment decision right so there is a you know uh each decision is dependent on each other see financing is something which is interdependent investment is dependent on uh, you know the financing out of investment decision uh, you know you'll be able to generate the income out of your profits only you will go for your dividend dividend declaration where a portion of profits will be shared among the shareholders of the organization preference comes first after that equity is shareholders isn't it so out of that then a portion of it you will have to you know retain in order to you know meet your day to day operations the funds like working capital management is also really very important and you know the financing decision it involves a two sources you know from where the funds can be raised see it can use a company's own money such as you have a uh, the share capital the retained earnings what is now a retained earnings the earnings which is a retained or the, the profits what you have earned or any kind of you know uh, borrowing funds from the outside that is in form of a loan a debenture a bond whereas loan bond debenture all these three it is subjected you know to pay fixed rate of interest right so the objective you know a financial decision is that to maintain an optimum capital structure optimum is an ideal best capital a uh, structure that is you know uh, the proper uh, uh, mix of the debt uh, equity that is to ensure the trade off between the risk and the return basically the trade off concept it tells about uh, how it is been managed with the risk and the return if i take so much of risk what is the return i'm going to get fine what is the uh, you know the relationship between the risk and the uh, return right so the debt equity ratio you know it helps in determining the effectiveness that is effectiveness of you know uh, a financing decision which is uh, made by the company while you know taking the financial decisions the financial manager he has to consider few points into the considerations it is not something that's what i told you this is not uh, a kind of um, a mere plan whatever the financial planner that is financial manager he comes up with he he must you know 
uh, properly that he needs to give the promptness or the accuracy with respect to the plan what he's going to make before that he should study the organization behavior that is i mean to say uh, the nature of the business the size of the business you know whether it can uh, cater to the needs of that is the products and the services in the market how can it stand you know with uh, the well established organizations right so he has to keep in mind certain things the first thing is uh, the risk see you know the risk involved in raising the funds you know the risk is higher in case of debt as compared to the equity it is because uh, you know the bonds or the debentures the loan is something which is a borrowed where it belongs to the outsiders when compared to the equity equity is something where the owners you have invested it right but when it comes to the debt what you have borrowed it from outside when you have borrowed it by default it's like you will have to pay along with the principal amount and with the fixed rate of interest so the risk involved uh, you know it is going to uh this is how it is going to affect with the terms of you know the debt when you are going to infuse it in your capital structure and he has to determine the financial manager you know he has to determine the cost what is the cost that is involved you know for the organization in order to raise the funds see the manager should he has to choose such source you know which is attached with the minimum a cost if i'm going to take a loan what is the interest rate attached to that particular thing what is the cost of capital if i want to borrow the loan what is the cost what is the interest rate attached to that so he has to study he has to study uh, the different sources as i told there are multiple sources out of those financial manager has to effectively you know uh, he has to optimally or ideally choose the source that which you know offers for a minimum cost right so the next step uh, what he has to keep in mind is that the level of uh, control now what does level of control talk about c it is nothing but see the shareholders who have invested the actual uh, you know investors the owners of the organization see want in the organization you know uh, it determines the composition of capital structure they usually prefer borrowed funds as uh, since it doesn't you know dilute the ownership yes this can, this is one of the uh, ways you know the methods where uh, a financial manager has to keep in mind what's the level of control that he can uh, have over that as you have shareholders you have you have uh, you know the debenture holders what's the level of uh, control so it doesn't uh, you know dilute the ownership of fact right so next up what is all about the cash flow now what does cash flow talk about see the cash flow from the operations of uh, the business that is it can be cash inflow where the cash is coming in for the organization cash outflow is something which the organization has to let go basically bills receivable can be your cash inflow bills uh, payable can be the cash outflow so what this uh, the cash flows are going to do see the cash flow from the operations of the business they also determine right the source from where the funds uh, shall be raised what's the high cash flow and how it is going to enable to borrow the debt you know as interest can be easily paid even that matters a lot how you are going to maintain how you are going to monitor or supervise your uh, cash flows that is inflows and outflows how you are going to have the control over it right and you have uh, like a uh, flotation cost he needs to take care of whereas something like brokers commission will be there uh, underwriters fee will be there you know in terms of subscription of uh, shares and all and um, which will be involved in uh, raising the securities and that again it also determines the source of the fund and hence you know the securities with the minimum cost uh, must be chosen this is how ideally a financial manager has to decide and a company should make you know a kind of a uh, a uh, judicious uh, decision you know regarding from a where uh, from where i need to raise the funds and when i have to do it because time value of money yes that concept he has to keep in mind and how the funds uh, should be uh, raised or uh, what is the risk associated with that if i take so much of risk what's the return i'm going to get what's the maturity period of that particular investment what's the interest rate attached to that what's the safety level right all these matters a lot see since uh, more of equity will result in the dilution of ownership where you know the higher debt results in higher risk as well because is something that which uh, you know belongs to the outsiders that's the reason and as fixed cost you know uh, in the form of interest it is to be paid on the borrowed funds as well so that's the reason why it uh, matters a lot right 
so here i know the financial a decision is something where you know like it is highly important that because as this is the first tool you should know that these are the decisions that which runs an organization so it must involve you know thousands of decisions a day you can uh, you know like imagine right so the decisions that have to be uh, you know like a uh, taken with respect to the capital structure that talks about the financing decision how will i form my capital how will i make the formation of my capital right that's how the things are going to work so if carefully you know like uh, reviewed what constitutes a business you know we'll understand that there are two things that matters a lot one is money and the decision associated with the money without money a company won't survive there's a reason why you know finance is called as you know life blood of the organization isn't it so without money uh, a company won't survive and without decisions money can't survive so always a financial manager or a financial planner he should make a wise decision right and an administration it has to take you know like a uh, countless uh, decisions that is in the lifetime of the uh, you know company and uh, again Uh, to wind up the most important ones are related to the money so the decisions related anything and everything to the money or the finance it talks about the concept of financing decisions right so this is the overview about uh, the broader topic financial decisions